everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing our Halloween October completed colouring pages. I was hoping to do one more but I've not been feeling very well the last couple of days so I just have been finishing off. I didn't finish the whip in the book was it? Dracula. I'm just not feeling it at the moment and I didn't colour anything in Everyday Horror by Jade Summer because I did start something and again I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to continue to do those pages over the coming months. Uh, the, the, the Everyday Horror one I will use to just uh, test out um, some new media. So I'll, I'll do a, a test of the W. H. Smith pencils on three different types of paper. So we, we know it works good in this. So we'll do it in a good book like this and then we'll do it in another book like Jade Summer and then another book. So let's crack on. So the first page we did was obviously the Shining Girls from The Beauty of Horror. We did this along with John over at the Bibliophile Colorist. Uh, this was done with uh, W. Smith's watercolour pencils and then I finished it off with the W. H. Smith's normal pencils. So I really enjoyed doing this. It took a while but it was worth it and I'm going to use my watercolours a lot more now. Now my battery is just about to die so I'm actually going to go and change it very very quickly. So yeah I really enjoyed using the watercolours and I really like the way they, they look on this paper. The only thing I can say is that with when I'm using watercolours I have to do it at, I don't have a desk, I have to do it, well I do have a desk but it's got computer stuff on it. I do have to do it at my dining table and I have to do it when Jennifer's in bed so it's really comp really difficult with the, the otherwise she'll be grabbing at me to try and get to the page, the paints and the, the pages so there's that one. Um, now while I was on holiday I coloured four complete pictures and no, I com completed three pictures and started a fourth, which I finished when I got home. And one of the ones I did was from the Horror Hotel. And I did the swimming pool one. So this was uh, done with Black Widows. All everything I, I took the Black Widows on holiday with me, so everything was done with Black Widows that was on holiday. So, and so I did the, the pool in red, so it was a blood pool, and then. Everything else was made to look dirty and old and I did the zombie girl sunbathing and I'd had her come out of the pool so these bloody bloody footprints and blood on the thing where she'd been swimming in the pool and um, on the handrail where she gripped it. Paul said you've got a terrible imagination. This is quite scary. <laughs> um, so I've got her sunbathing in, in the night time because I thought that's quite a thing that you know. <laughs> so it was quite a funny one to do actually. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, nice and gruesome. So we've done that the the, the sunbeds in blue, but we've put a bit of murk over them, and the same with the um, sun shades at the back. And if you look at her, you can see her. Yeah, the blood. I really like that picture. I really enjoyed that. It's quite gruesome. But uh, so that was the that one I did while I was on holiday. Because I had time when Jennifer was napping in the afternoon and I would just sit on the balcony in the sun and do some colouring. So the next three were from the Halloween Colouring Heaven Special. I took this one holiday with me. And these are actually in, in done in order that they were done. So the first one I did was Nikki Burnett's picture. And again, it was done entirely with Black Widows. I haven't gone back and put anything sparkly on it. Once it's finished, if I've, if I've not got something sparkly with me, I can't, I won't, I won't bother. I'm just not like, I just... But I like the way it's turned out. I wanted to give a green hair, which I did. So I was happy with that. So that's the second one. Uh, the next one I did on holiday was Vanessa Yotomoto's. And this is like the um, love spell one. Again, totally done with just the Black Widow pencils. And yeah, I, I enjoyed this one. This one took a while. It was while I was doing this one, I, I I lost my blending pencil, my Prismacolor blender. I went to pick it up and I dropped it and it rolled off the table and I couldn't grab it and it rolled off the balcony and headed three or four floors down. So, but I've got another one, so I will order some more soon. Then I did this one by Vera Ma, aka a Lemon Shortbread. I really love this. I love her. I love this style of artwork. 
I think her pictures are really cute. So I'm hoping if there's she's got a book out or there will be a book out. If anybody knows, let me down know down in the comments below because I really liked this one. So we gave her a red bodice and red shoes and a pink skirt. It's quite so she's all very flighty and innocent. Um and she looks quite, you know, apart from the skulls on her skirt. But uh, she, so she looks like just a normal girl, but she, there's a graveyard behind her and she's got skulls on her skirt. I enjoyed that one. So those the, those ones are the ones I did on holiday. I really like the ones in that. And then I did two from the Jade Summer Halloween Colouring Book. This is a lot for me. So, so far we've seen five and there's two from, so I think I did about 11, which is a lot for me. I know there are some people who do loads and I'm thinking, do they not have lives or other things to do? Um, but me, I've got a child to look after, I go to work, I run a business, I read, I do colouring. A lot of my colouring is done at night when Jennifer's in bed. So yeah, I did two from the, the Jade Summer Halloween colouring book. The first one I did was this one, although I started the next one before I started this one. And I, and I did enjoy this and this was done with just um, some of them were Crayola Super Tips and some unbranded ones which I don't know where they've gone because they've fallen out of the case and I think I've put them in a box that I bought in Lidl's for 99p or 95p and they were alright. The other thing is it did run because I put some glitter glue on it not thinking that of course it's going to run and the backs of black acrylic paint but it is still nice to do and I just touched it up and it looks quite spooky. And the next one I did is the next page, which is this cute little witch. This one was done with feeler pencils and possibly Prismacolors. Because I noticed my black one was run, my black one feeler pencil kept breaking, so I used other pencils to finish it off. Now, I haven't done a background on this and I'm kind of thinking maybe it should. I don't know. I'm going to leave it like that one. I'm quite happy. I've seen other people do, do these and not do a background. So I did on this one. But uh, I don't know. As you can see, there's a bit of bleed through from below where I put the glitter glue on. So glitter glue and markers, no. Glitter glue and pencil, yes. Next one is from Jade. Another Jade Summer. I did three Jade Summer books this month. And that's from Haunted House. I only did one in here. I'm not that pleased with it. It was just this one from uh, it's sort of like a, a broken down chapel and you got a zombie hand and I think that was a mixture of black widows and prisma colours I think I'm pretty sure but yeah I mean I just wanted to do something in the book and it's not too bad it's not the best thing I've ever done but uh, this is one of the earlier books and it's, I don't think it's as good as some of the others. There's some, that's a good picture. There are some good pictures in it though, but uh, I just wanted something simple that wasn't going to take too long and wasn't going to be too complicated. I think my favourite one is the next one. Um, other than The Shining Girls from Beauty of Horror, Jade Summer Nightmare, I did this picture. Obviously I didn't colour the cover, but I did do that picture. And... There it is. I love this. So when I think of death, I think of death, um, Terry Pratchett's death. Um, and I imagine him saying, I could murder a good curry. So this was done with Touch 5 markers. I hadn't picked up my Touch 5 markers in over two years, I don't think. Definitely a year. Two years. And I was thinking, I bet they've dried out. I bet they're not going to work. But they did. Um, so it's all done with that, apart from the scythe blade and the the hourglass so just zoom in a little bit so you can see the hourglass and the scythe I think it's going to focus was done with gel pens so just to make it a bit shiny but I really enjoyed doing that I loved that I like the way it turned out I'm very very pleased with it to be honest I think that's my favourite one from this month. I do really like that one. So there's only two more to go. So, like I said, I'm not as prolific as some people, but I do enjoy what I do. Next one was one we coloured on camera, and that was the Come Fly With Me Witch from Night Magic by Selena Fennec. I 
finished uh, the sky and the thing. I never did get to burnish the sky in, uh, but I'm all right with that. I'm quite happy with it. I've done my little shimmery on the outside so that it looks like the haze from the moon. And I just do that with my Derwent eraser. I just erase, erase it so it's lighter. But I quite like that picture. I do like Selena Fennec's artwork. I think she's fantastic. And the last one I did this month is from last year's Halloween Heaven special. Halloween special. Now last year I did uh, one of the Molly Harrisons and this year I did one of the Molly Harrisons. And again, this one was done with the Touch 5 Marquez. So as you can see it's very pale because I've used the um, skin white. Um, and I've put some glitter gel pen on her dress on the gold dots and some uh, silver gel pen in her hair. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, there's some silver gel pen in her hair. And again, I really like that one. It's really nice. That one's called Nocturnal Companion. So that was from last year's book. I only did one in that. So I'm really happy with the ones I did this month because some of them were really quite in depth and had to be done at night when Jennifer's asleep. So for instance, the Beauty of Horror one. Um, so I really, really enjoyed this. I'm going to yawn, excuse me. I really, really enjoyed this month. I'm glad it's not Halloween anymore. We can take a break and have a month where it's something, we can do whatever we want before we hit uh, December. I know some people have already started colouring Christmas. I'm not going to because I will get Christmas burnout out before December if I start doing that. Um, so what do I want to colour next month? Well, I am still going to work on the Dracula page. I have pulled a few books out um, from the Colouring Heavens that I've got that I haven't used. I picked out their Nouveau Fantasy and I've picked out um, Johanna Basford's World of Flowers to do a page in there. What else? Um, I've got the Famous Five Colouring book. I'm going to do one in that one, hopefully. And one in the Deborah Muller book, Fall Friends, which I'm probably going to start when I go up to bed. And I'm probably going to use the markers in it. Um, I don't know what else yet, I haven't decided, so out of those um, for Deborah Muller one I'm going to start tonight and then we'll pick, I'll pick her book to do the colouring chat um, when I get a chance hopefully on this weekend. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video, just a quick one and I hope you like the colouring pages this month, I've really enjoyed doing them to be honest and I will see you soon so leave me a comment down below, uh, let me know which one you like the best, let me know which one of your favourite is. And then I'll see you again next time. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and tap the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And yeah, tell your friends if they're into colouring to come along and have a look if they want to. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.